In the Dune universe, the Gom Jabbar is a poison needle that can be attached to one's fingertip. The Reverend Mother Gaius Helen Mohayim called it the high-handed enemy. The most relevant use of it was in the testing of humanity implemented by the Bene Gesserit Sisterhood. The Gom Jabbar would be placed upon a thimble and held at the subject's neck. The subject's hand would then be placed in a box, and through a process which the Reverend Mother calls pain by nerve induction, the subject's hand is subjected to intense pain, though the flesh is in no way harmed. You will feel pain in this hand within the box. Pain, but withdraw the hand and I'll touch your neck with my gum jabbar, the death so swift it's like the fall of the headsman's axe. Withdraw your hand and the gum jabbar takes you. Understand what's in the box. Pain. This is a test to see whether or not the subject's human awareness is stronger than their animal instincts. Therefore, it is indeed a test of humanity. If the subject's awareness of the Gum Jabbar is powerful enough to endure the sensations of pain coming from the box, then that person was therefore human and ready to receive some of the deeper teachings of the Bene Gesserit. According to the Reverend Mother, pain is nothing to a human. A human can override any nerve in the body. This is the Bene Gesserit mind over body philosophy which allowed them to acquire such precise control over their physiology. By performing the test, the Bene Gesserit select for the most refined humans. The ones that do not pass are removed from the genetic ecosystem by way of the Gum Jabbar. Ever sift sand through a screen? She asked. The tangential slash of her question shocked his mind into a higher awareness. Sand through a screen? He nodded. We Bene Gesserit sift people to find the humans. In the beginning of Dune, the Lady Jessica is offering up Paul to the Reverend Mother, even though she knows that he could very well die by her hands. She understands, however, that the endurance of pain is key to survival. She is exposing Paul to pain, as all parents must eventually do. The Sisterhood intended to create the Kwisatz Haderach so that they could better guide humanity down the path they felt was best. When this failed, rather than die out after the pain of defeat, the Bidi Gesserit evolved because of their ability to adapt to pain. This is why they test for humanity. They only want those best suited for dealing with pain. The Gom Jabbar makes an appearance in other places in the Dune universe as well. The child sister of Paul Atreides, Aaliyah, also uses a Gom Jabbar at the end of Dune when she kills the Baron Vladimir Harkonnen. It is also mentioned that all the noble houses possess some sort of Gom Jabbar. They were used to dispose of rivals and foes under specific circumstances. The Bene Gesserit test utilizing the Gom Jabbar was mainly reserved for female students of the Bene Gesserit discipline. Paul Atreides was administered the test under highly unusual circumstances. Being that he was the accumulation of centuries of deliberate genetic manipulation by the hands of the Bene Gesserit, Paul was tested to determine whether or not he could potentially be a danger to the Bene Gesserit Sisterhood or their breeding program. Clearly, the Bene Gesserit Sisterhood vastly overestimated their own ability to control a potential Kwisatz Haderach, 